In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a salt water battery. Going to need the following things. Salt water, obviously. Four cups. Four pieces of copper. Four pieces of zinc. Two long wires. Three shorter wires. Ten crocodile clips and an LED. The first thing we're going to do is attach the crocodile clips to the ends of all the wires. You need to poke the wire through the back of the crocodile clip, wrap it around the screw and tighten it down with the screwdriver. You'll need to attach a crocodile to the ends of all your wires. For the three short wires, we're going to use the crocodile clips to hold a piece of copper on one side and a piece of zinc on the other. For our two long wires, what we're going to do is add a piece of copper to one of them and a piece of zinc to the other. Then, in between the two, we're going to attach our LED. Next, we're going to need our four cups. Any cups work. So you can see better what's going on, I'm going to replace my four cups with glass beakers. Fill each beaker about a third full with salt water. We're going to add our short wires in between the two cups. Now the key thing here is to make sure each cup has one of each metal, one copper and one zinc. Finally, we're going to add our long wires with the LED. Again, make sure each cup only has one of each metal, so one copper with one zinc. Once the long wires have been added, the circuit's complete and the LED should light up. If your LED doesn't light up, try turning it round because LEDs only work when the current flows through them in one direction. You can also break the circuit at any point to make the LED turn on and off. And that's how to make saltwater batteries.